As a humans, we have to be active. We have to do something. And nature is meant to like move around, do things. So I think this is one of the things that humans do. Art, we call it art. I can call it a very good way of expressing our feelings in the most creative way. Very important for me is like how I can turn my thoughts and my daydreams into like a visual piece, like in a painting or a sculpture. And later on, it's like always great when you see people actually finding their self or feeling something about the artwork. That's how it started for me. Parents said he, he knows how to draw and he's the best in the class. And that's how it starts like the dream. I was lost as, you know, like what direction I'm going. I was working in construction that time. And one of those days I worked with big machines with spray paint, spraying like all like big ceilings with a black color. And all the floors have been protected with drop cloth. Basically all the dust from the spray paints created all those wrinkles. In that moment, it was like, whoa, this is kind of crazy good, beautiful. It was like a, a painting in itself, which nobody thought to make it. So basically I started taking those canvas at my studio that time in the Bronx and just hanging those and signing. And I was like, this is my painting. And basically after I got fired from those jobs, of course, because I was doing more art than actually work I was supposed to do. <laughs> I started doing the same technique, those wrinkles, play with those, um, trying to recreate that idea and step by step coming to like, to create through something very abstract, to create something realistic, which creates an illusion, which also like kind of I see the, the whole life is an illusion. The experience we share with others or we take from others, somehow we transform in different shape. And that's how we create, everyone creates different artworks. But in the end, it's like all like a net connected. In 1999, when we had to flee uh, from the house because it was a war in Kosovo, my father and my family, we went to the mountains. I remember this moment where we had to hide ourselves, to camouflage ourselves in the mountain. And my father was like working forever and fast to camouflage the place where we were staying. Because otherwise, if they know exactly where you are, you can get bombed. And this is like a message behind like how we can, you know, like, it's, it's like, it's not just for that story, but how actually humans are always trying to get camouflaged from all the wars, all the hard life they're having. Trying to give like, like a hidden message. Basically nothing is kind of new, but it feels new for us because we're experiencing for the first time. I am Paitem Osmanai and I'm an artist. I think so, I'm an artist. <laughs>